This portion of the episode is brought to you by Frontline Defense Systems Incorporated. We're going to show you how you can increase your bottom line and each sale with Frontline Defense. Alrighty, so our next job is uh, a location. I don't mind sharing where this location is because it's really not going to matter. Um, but they called and they have a safe and it has two doors. It has one door on top that they've been using and one door on the bottom that they've never been able to use and they've never had the... Uh, combination for that safe so or the, for that bottom part the problem is is that the safe is now done it's now used up they want to get rid of it and they're getting a new one and it's bolted down through the bottom so now they have to open the bottom door and able to get rid of the old safe to be able to put the new one in and they have limited room in their facility to do that so sometimes we get complicated jobs the reason for opening the safe is simply to throw it away which doesn't make any sense except for the fact that that real estate where that safe is sitting is the actual important part of this so that's what we're going to do uh, we'll show you guys some of the techniques and whatnot uh, for that but we're not going to show obviously this is not a a how to start safe cracking uh, video in any way shape or form uh, number one I feel it's my duty to not share how to open safes uh, and, and the specific techniques behind that with the general public for all the other people who have safes that are trying to keep their stuff safe inside that safe uh, I know it would be really cool, but sorry guys, um, you have to go to my website, uh, waynesloxshop.com. There I have training programs on how to professionally open safes with just a tiny inch, quarter inch hole or less. Usually that does it. Uh, sometimes no hole is needed, but um, I'll document what I can without giving too much away. And uh, that's just the next job that's on our list today. So come on and let's go take a look at this one. Okay, so we're going to watch this fast-forwarded version with the camera off at an angle over here. And I can give you a little bit of information without giving things away. Uh, you have to have a lot of technical information and a database to be able to understand where to drill and the specific location on this particular unit. However, from over here, we're really just drilling through a piece of metal and pulling the dial off, so it's not that big a deal. We're going to use a camera to go ahead and look inside the safe and inside the lock and do a couple little twists and turns. Again, if you want specific information on how to do safe cracking and you are a licensed professional, go ahead and visit waynesloxshop.com and there's plenty of videos on all of the details and the specifics over there. Alrighty, now that we have the bottom door opened up and the lock actually open, door open we can go ahead and move what we need to out of the way verify that there's no money or any belongings inside the safe and that it's completely empty and then those bolts down there we can go ahead and all too often when technicians are out working they're not looking at all of the things that they can possibly or potentially do they're so focused on i need to rekey this lock or whatever they were called out here for now i was called out here to open up this safe but let's see here as i walk up Take a look at this, okay? That means that they've had an attempted robbery or break-in location. You can see that pry bars were used to try and pry that open and it damaged both the door and the frame. Now, whether or not they were this, I'm not sure. However, I am gonna offer a solution, which would be a frontline defense, full length, continuous latch guard, that would prevent this from happening again. It wouldn't allow the opportunity for a bar to try and get shoved in here to have that problem in the first place. Always think of your customer's extra security needs and always think of any other services that you can offer to that client while you're there. It's not an upsell to make the invoice larger. I'm actually solving their problem and preventing a future break-in from happening simply by paying attention and noticing what's going on here. Now we're gonna have to remove the safe. So now I'm unbolting all of the bolts. And this is also one of the big reasons why I do not like this style of bolt or the style of concrete anchor that actually expands into the ground. You'll notice that we have to lift the safe up and over those bolts. And while it's not that big a deal with this small safe, if you had a very large heavy safe, that would cause some major problems. We're getting cleaned up. Just go ahead and get a broom, get everything swept out of the way so we can wheel the new safe over. Just brought it over on a 
piece of cloth and skid it right across the tile so that it doesn't scratch anything. And we put the safe in the location that we want it. Go ahead and mark those holes, bring the safe out of the way, and then I'm using a Milwaukee 18 volt hammer drill with an SDS bit to go ahead and drill those holes out, as you can see. Here's what I'm talking about, the expanding style bolts. Now this safe came with these bolts. Here's the Tapcoms that I would prefer to install. If the safe manufacturer sends out their own bolts, I highly recommend, and it may even affect the UL or Underwriter Laboratories um, grade on that. It may affect their uh, their label on that if you don't use the bolts that come with the safe. So I repeat again, it is my policy or company policy that if the safe comes with bolts from the manufacturer, those are the bolts we use even though I don't like using them in this particular application. I would much rather use my tap cons. Unfortunately we have to use these. Uh, if they do not send bolts then I will use the tap cons as well. For more information, check out waynelockshop.com, fill out an application if you'd like to become a locksmith and do some of the fun things that you see on these videos legally. Check out waynelockshop.com or scan the QR code. Thanks for watching and see you next.